Okay, in this video we're looking at solving quadratic equations with the quadratic formula. Okay, so the quadratic formula is this thing. So x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a when the quadratic is in the form in the standard form. Okay, so the a, the b, and the c come from here. They get substituted in there, and you can solve for the answers. Now the plus or minus gives us the two possible answers. Okay, So for ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, we can determine the solutions by substituting uh, a, b, and c into the quadratic formula, which is this. An example of this, what if you have 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0? Well, the b here is negative 3. So you've got to take the negative of b, so it's the negative of negative 3. Plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 4. You've got to take the sign with it. Then all over 2 times a. So if you simplify this, you get 3 plus or minus 9 plus 32 is what works out inside here. Um, over 4. And you get 3 plus or minus root 41 over 4. So the answers are 3 plus root 30, uh, 41 over 4 and 3 minus root 41 over 4. And you can plug those into your calculator to get the decimals. Okay? So we have this portion of the quadratic formula that we call the discriminant. It's called b squared minus 4ac. This tells us a lot of information about the solutions of the quadratic equation that we're dealing with. So if b squared minus 4ac is positive, so greater than 0, then the square root is going to be a number that's greater than 0. And we will have two solutions. If the discriminant is 0, then the plus or minus does nothing. You're doing plus or minus 0. So you really only get one solution, which is negative b over 2a. If the discriminant is negative, then as we've seen before, you cannot take the square root of a negative number. So because you can't take a square root of a negative number, there is no solution when the discriminant is negative. Okay? So this I've just summarized right here. So the discriminant is 0, there's only one solution. If it's negative, then there are no solutions. Okay. Now where did this formula come from? So in the last video we looked at solving the quadratic equation by completing the square. The quadratic formula is just the result of that. So if you did that process, and I'll show you here, okay, if you did that process with a general quadratic. Okay, so in this one here, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. We want to solve for x. Well, go through the process of completing the square. So first you're going to factor a to the first two terms, and if you do that, this becomes b over a. Then you want to uh, find the perfect square in there. So you take half of this and square it. So b over a, half of that is b over 2a. Square that, add it, and subtract it. Now you have a perfect square in these three terms, and you can write that down. And you have this piece left over. Okay? By doing a lot of simplifying here, okay, I'll let you read through it, you can get the quadratic formula. So following the completing the square method for solving quadratic equations, this gets you the quadratic formula. Okay. Now, some examples. Okay, so first example is going to be right here. So x squared minus 8x plus 15 equals 0. We know a is 1, 
B is negative 8, C is 15. Plugging them into the quadratic equation, quadratic formula, sorry. Okay, so negative of negative 8, negative 8 squared minus 4AC over 2A. All right, so the negative 8 becomes positive 8 now, plus or minus 64 minus 60, all over 2. And that's 8 plus or minus root 4, all over 2. And we get this nice answer here, which is 5 and 3. Now if we notice, we did not need the quadratic formula to solve this equation. Okay? We could have used factoring, product of two numbers that is 15, and adds to negative 8. It's going to be negative 3 and negative 5, which would have given us the solutions of 5 and 3. Okay, So here's one that you can't do by factoring. Okay, So here, A is 2, B is negative 3, C is negative 7. Plugging the numbers in, just like this, try it out. See if you can evaluate those and simplify it. Okay. And then it simplifies to this. And you can write it as two answers if you wish. You can plug it into your calculator to see the approximate values. And another one. Okay. A, B, and C are these numbers. Plugging them into the formula gives you this for x. Hit pause and try to finish it. Okay. And then you get 3 over 2. And the reason you get only one answer in this is because the part under the square root becomes 0. So you're doing plus or minus 0, which doesn't give you two solutions anymore. It just gives you one. Okay. And then now you can solve ones that are as ugly as this, if it's solvable. Okay. So A, B, and C are decimal numbers now. Okay. Plugging them in. Okay. You can try and evaluate now, see what you get. So you can pause and try. And you got this. Now you got 5.76 minus 116. That's going to be a negative number. So because under the square root is negative, there is no solution. Okay, it's not possible to square a negative or square root a negative. Okay, and that's the quadratic formula.